saw, dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I don't really have anything to preface this video with other than we have a lot of questions and very little answers. So let's just jump right into it. My name is Alexis Whiteman. I'm from Plymouth, Indiana. E-L-E-X-U-S-W-H-I-T-E-M-A-N. Alexis Whiteman. If anything happens to me or my child, it is the doing of Darlene Rodriguez and Matthew Juarez. They have been plotting and planning to take me out because I know so much about their family and they don't want me to speak out about the truth. They want to get me taken out by other people because they don't want the blood on their hands. They've been planning to get me murdered and if anything happens to me, I come up missing, or if I do end up getting murdered, or if anything happens to me, it is not my doing. It is because they have been plotting and planning against me because they don't want to get taken down. They don't want me to speak the truth. Okay, so that was the video that I saw pop across my For You page a couple of days ago. By a couple of days ago, I mean like yesterday. So that video like genuinely had me concerned. And then I checked again to see if there were any updates on that account. And then we got this video. I am alive and well as of right now. I just posted that video for my own safety. So more people can know about the situation. I've already talked about it. To people surrounding me, I just wanted the situation more known. So I started doing some Googling and trying to figure out who these people were that she was talking about in her videos um, that Alexis was talking about, and I couldn't find anything for the um, Rodriguez person she was talking about. I found like somebody that was possibly missing from Plymouth, but was like a news reporter and it was a woman, a woman. So I don't exactly know if that person had any relation to what Alexis is talking about or if there just happens to be two people with the same name in the same town, because that could definitely happen. Happens all over, you know? So I genuinely don't know who that other person is and nobody else really does either, except that they supposedly had a romantic relationship. So I don't know, maybe. But then after like going under the little search tab of Alexis's first video, I then like came across other videos of Matthew speaking out against, or not against, but trying to explain the situation a little bit more from his side of what Alexis is talking about. So here is his first kind of public video talking about the situation. My name is Matthew Juarez. This is Hazely Rain. She doesn't want to be in the camera. Okay. Um, so Alexis Whiteman posted, like, saying that I'm trying to murder her. It's not true. Um, she has mental issues. Uh, there's nothing really that can be done. She doesn't accept the therapy. She doesn't accept anything. The therapist that she did have ended up uh, getting or quitting. And so from there, since the therapist quit, she didn't want to go back and get a different therapist. I set up an appointment so she can get a different therapist. Um, and no, she's off her meds. She took off to Florida. She totally forgot about the child, took off to Florida, picked up charges. I bailed her out. Um, there's nothing really more to say, but life's hard. I'm getting a lot of crazy messages. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. So, like he said, Alexis was arrested and he bailed her out in Florida. Her bond was $20,000. I don't know exactly if that is accurate or not, but she had mug shots. I mean, literally the whole nine yards. Her charge was aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. So there's another woman that kind of goes a little bit more into detail and she actually has some of the records in her video. I, I really, I couldn't, this was stressing me out. So I did some research and it seems that Alexis was arrested in July 16th for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and grand theft motor vehicle. And that Matthew is saying that he had bailed her out of this situation here. I can't find any more information regarding the bond out. It doesn't say like the person, but here's the public police report. You can pause to read. And this is the report of who it was that she assaulted with a deadly weapon. This person is obviously not named Matthew Warris, so I don't know who this other person is that she was with. 
Um, I don't know anything about the story other than what we've seen in those two videos. Um, but I think it's important to see all aspects of this, especially when she is claiming that someone is out there ready to kill her. I do hope that she gets whatever help it is that she needs, regardless. Um, feeling unsafe is never good for anyone, but these are the only facts out there for people. So then Matthew responds with a, another video. This poor guy, I feel so bad for him. So just watch his video and then we'll talk about it. I haven't, I haven't read any comments. I haven't looked at my phone. I've been super busy all day. I don't have time to respond to every single person. I'm crying. I need to continue life. I can't keep just going back to Alexis, Alexis, Alexis. Um, in all reality, I'm financially unstable now due to everything I've had to pay for Alexis. Not in the terms of me taking care of her, but in the terms of now the court proceedings, the lawyer fees, the child. I take care of the child. I don't charge child support. This is... I'm not I'm never gonna get any child support. This is different. And I work on a farm. That's it. So like in the video, he does mention that he lives or excuse me, not he that he lives on a farm, that he works on a farm, and he has a lot of other videos on his account as well. Um clearly on this farm that he works on. So I mean it seems really legit and honestly I can't imagine the kind of backlash and repercussions that he's seen just because of her videos. I mean, we so want to believe victims when they come forward and say that, you know, they think somebody is trying to harm them in any ways, because there are of women who say that someone was trying to harm them and then nothing is done and then they end up murdered so we do need to take her case seriously but honestly he seems so genuine that it's hard to believe that he could ever be plotting to kill her and then of course there was a whole conspiracy theory that he worked on a farm and then I think his mom also works on the farm so maybe it's a family farm and that since they work on a farm and they have all this big equipment they easily could have plotted a murder and buried her with the equipment but but honestly, if you watch his other videos, you just don't get that vibe from him. Granted, you know, we thought Chris Watts was also a loving father and husband, so you never know. But I, I don't know. I just, it's so hard to believe that he's someone that could be plotting to murder somebody else. And even at one point, Alexis's mom, Tracy White, even she posted on Facebook asking where her daughter was that she didn't know where she had gone. Well, here it turns out that was when she, when Alexis ran off to Florida and then Matthew had to bail her out. That's where she was, but her mom did post a photo, which I had to take screen grab from another video because her mom's Facebook is now like privated more, which I, I mean, I understand that. So now basically all that we have is another final like video from Matthew. So here's that video. This is Matthew Juarez. Um, I have taken down my videos due to legal reasons. I cannot get in detail. Um, I just want to let everybody know that I had to take down the videos. Um, I just need to follow court proceedings, and from there, time will go on. Go on, and uh, Hazley Rain, the baby, is well taken care of. Um, there's nothing to do but to continue from here. Thank you, everyone. I think it's so sad that he's going through all of this. I think that he's trying to get um, full custody of their daughter, which is just makes this case so much more sad is that there is a small child involved in this and courts typically do go in favor, favor of the mother. But if she is having some sort of mental health crisis, honestly, I mean, she, the daughter should be staying with Matthew. I really hope that at some point they get her in and they kind of can evaluate her and just see if she is having some sort of, you know, mental break and if she just needs some professional help because that could be it. And like Matthew said, she's or she had been off her meds and that can make such such a big difference in a person and their demeanor and just how they behave. So unfortunately, like we like I said, we don't know a ton about this. We know some, but 
Um, I don't know that there'll be an update. So this might just be where this case ends up, especially, especially if Matthew's lawyer said that he shouldn't be posting videos about it, which I think probably is a good idea if I'm being real. So that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video to be interesting, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also comment how you feel about this. What kind of, um, you know, if you have any other predictions about this case, if you have any other thoughts about it, I'd really like to know down below, but remember that these are real people. So be respectful. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and go outside and touch some grass, maybe breathe some air, but most of all, just stay safe. Bye guys.